Hi friends, in this video, I will show you what should be the entry when there is input credit available at the time of vendor invoice booking and also if there is no input credit available when we are booking vendor invoices. The best configuration can be done only when the output that is the entry is known to the functional consultant. If the entry the domain experience is not very clear, then even a good functional consultant cannot configure the system. So it is very important to understand the entry first and then accordingly the configuration has to be done. Let us start one entry with input credit and I am in FB60 T code to book vendor invoice. I am selecting here one vendor. say 36,000 because GST is 18% basic 2 lakhs and I'm taking calculate tax. Okay. Okay, in, I have created few tax codes where input credit is available 9%, 9%. If you see this particular tax code K2 in CGST 9%, SGST 9%, what I mean is it is input credit available for this CGST, SGST. Let me select the business place and business section. Okay. Invoice booked with input credit. Just for our understanding, let me take some uh, expense. 2 lakhs is the basic and uh, 36,000 is the GST. And here we have input credit available. Okay, now this vendor has got withholding tax also. Let me take withholding tax condition. So uh, because it is invoice, I have taken on the invoice part and let me simulate it. Okay. Now you see Google India is the vendor it has got the credit of 2,16,000 after deducting 20,000 of TDS under 194J. Okay. And repairs and maintenance equipment 2 lakhs. CGST 18,000, SGST 18,000, that is 9% on 2 lakhs with input credit. You see here CGST input credit, SGST input credit. That means these two are the assets. And this is expense 2 lakhs and TDS is liability. It is in minus. And Google India has got the credit after deducting TDS on 2 lakh 36,000. Okay, this is how the entry should come. And this should be understood by the functional consultant so that he will configure the GST conditions accordingly. Now there is an error log. Let me rectify this error log because I have done the validation here. So we have to mention compulsorily these details. Without that, we cannot complete the entry. Okay, now error would have gone here and now I will post this entry. Document so and so was posted in Aura. Okay, now let us see display the entry. Fine, you see CGST input credit taken. 18,000, the same thing, whatever we had seen. Now let us go with some other example where there is no input credit. So let me take 1 lakh 18,000. Here I have created another tax code where K5, you see K5, no IETC, CGST 9%, SGST 9%. What I mean, there is no ITC in this particular invoice. I cannot, I am not eligible to take input credit for whatever may be the reason. Okay, here I will take some expense. Don't go by expense and tedious uh, uh, rate. This is just, this is the, just to show about input tax credit and without input tax credit. 
and we have withholding tax condition. Okay, it is on invoice, so invoice one is selected. Now I will simulate it. You see here now professional fee is debited with one lakh eighteen thousand. Okay, actually basic amount is only one lakh because I have selected K five the tax code which uh, which means that there is no input credit on purchases. So the eighteen thousand is being added to the expense itself directly. And but TDS is deducted on the base amount of one lakh, and net figure is going to Google India, who is the vendor. Okay, and again same here also you have error law, so we have to rectify this error law by completing the validation fields. Then go back. Now the error is gone. Now you can post it. Okay, document number so and so is posted now displayed. So see, professional fee is though basic amount is one lakh, it is debited with one lakh eighteen thousand because the tax code which I have selected is without input credit, and hence it is taking expense it, expensing it off to the consent ledger. Okay, hope you understand. Thank you.